The Amazing Plan B will be performing live shortly. <laughs> First, though, put your jazz hands together for the cast of Glee. <laughs> it's Jenna Oskovic, Kevin McHale and Matthew Morrison. <laughs> For you. For you. You did it for me. I did it for you. Do you ever <laughs> use the wheelchair, like, you know, to get nearer the door at Sainsbury's or Tesco's <laughs> or something? No, do you ever do that? No, everybody else, in between takes, everybody else steals the chair yeah. while I walk. Now, there's loads I want to talk to you about, Glee, but uh, let's have a clip of the guys in action. <laughs> become this... It's basically a phenomenon, isn't it? I'll take your word for it. Weird, yeah. No, it is. <laughs> Why do you think people love the show so much? I think it's got a lot of heart. I think it's got a lot yeah. of positivity, and it's about the underdog, so... Yeah. I think it's because right? we're real people. It's, these characters aren't like some made-up fictional superheroes. They're normal people that I think people can relate to. I think it's because of the music. I mean, music yeah. is the universal language that we all speak, and uh, I think that's why it does so well. Because there's a lot of cheesy music in it, people that... that no, no, there is, but you, but, but you sing it and you're like... Woo! Absolutely. You know, you oh, did... Yeah. Um, what's it, MC Ammer, you can't touch oh, this yeah. in a library. Oh, yeah. You did... <laughs> Sweet Sensation! You know that one? <laughs> Marky Mark and the yeah, Funky Bunch. Sure. You know, I, I thought it's I was the only one who listened to that. It's that people do... <laughs> right, yeah. It's songs that people sing in the showers that we shamelessly do in front of millions yeah. of people. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Now, I just feel like Glee came at the right time. Do you know what I mean? Like with the credit crunch and all mm. the wars going on, it was like a big gay rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, know, on an overcast day, it's like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh best okay, explanation yeah. ever. Oh! oh. <laughs> what are the, you know, you call them gleeks. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> how intense have the gleeks got? Have you had any stalker gleeks? Not You're here? What are you doing here? <laughs> Better left you in America. There's this amazing woman in London, actually. She actually came up to us and started bowing down. Yeah. I was like, shouldn't everybody be greeted like that? Yeah. that was, I was yeah. like, welcome Should've to London. Moved. I love you. Who are you? Yeah. But you've also got Robert De Niro as a fan. Mm. Yes. He came up to Matt and said, hey, you the guy. You the guy that was funny. Ha ha. <laughs> That was the best De Niro impression I've I ever know. heard. It's uncanny. You guy. Yeah, he came to me at the White House uh, and... Oh, and, and, not name dropping at all, Matthew. <laughs> you know, I was sitting there with Sting and yeah. just talking and he's like, hey, you, you the guy, you, you, the, you the happy guy. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, some, and that was the most amazing one. That's incredible. Just someone That's that you don't ever expect to watch a show like Glee. Yeah, yeah. You don't expect him sitting at home, do you? No. Watching Glee singing along to Journey and... Yeah. No. You can't touch this. Can exactly. you imagine? <laughs> They uh, can't touch the... Oh, oh I, I shouldn't ever do can't touch the... I shouldn't. Yeah, that, that's just Sylvester so Stallone, that is. Yeah, I'll... <laughs> yeah, man, just a small town girl. <laughs> <laughs> that's not... That's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, uh... Now, to be in Glee, you've got to be a triple threat. Mm -hmm. Haven't you? Triple threat? Triple threat. <laughs> Don't take the piss. <laughs> Triple threat. Yes, yes, yes. Was any of you bullied at school? Because you're sort of giving me a flashback saying that, Matthew. It's fine. <laughs> so much for being an inspirational teacher. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, at school, I got like, oh, you're the kid who sings and dances. I was like, yeah. yeah. And you're the kid who picks his nose. Like, I, don't know. <laughs> I never cared. I think that's no. like how we relate to our characters. Like, none of us cared. Like, yeah, I sing and I dance. I don't care. Who are you? I think Chris got picked on the most. Uh, he plays Kurt. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and all the, the gay stuff, I suppose. All that stuff. A little bit. Yeah. I know. Like I used stuff. to get it all, all the time. Oh, you're, you're straight, uh, right? <laughs> yeah, I put this on. <laughs> straight to the next dick. Uh, yeah. Hey! <laughs> 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 okay.
Because, Matt, you, you must be the only straight man in musical theatre. Uh, no, that's Pe not true. I'm one of five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Because pe people are always assuming you're gay. I, I you know, I've been, I've, I've been singing and dancing since I was in, is in what? Well, in the womb. Singing in, and dancing in the womb. Singing and dancing since I was in fifth grade, so it's not like I haven't heard it before. So uh, no, no. But it's actually the best way to pick up girls is to be in the uh, in musical theater. Yeah, the yeah. odds are fantastic. <laughs> Mind you, posing for pictures like this doesn't really help, does it? I mean. <laughs> I mean, Matt, why have you got Sue Sylvester's hair on the front of your shorts? Oh, oh, yeah, it's a chicken. It's a charity. It's a charity the Broadway community does uh, every year. It's called Broadway Bears, and it raises money yeah, for... Yeah, yeah, whatever. I know, i got to explain it, because it's so... That's I very understand. gay. <laughs> yeah. It's so a big actually... ploy to get more girls. Yeah, 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 that old chestnut. Oh, <laughs> now, you're recording a solo album. I am, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very uh, yeah, I'm over here actually doing some writing sessions with some great producers in London, and uh, it's going great. It's going yeah. great. I'm very excited about it. What's it going to be like? Is it going to be show tunes? No, not at all. I call it. I call it Boob Lake. It's a cross between Michael Bublé and Justin Timberlake. So I like what you've done there, there you Boob Lake. Oh! Oh! No! He just killed the fly. <laughs> Fly was a friend of mine. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, oh. 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 That's been on dog. Oh. Oh. Should we have a moment happened. of silence? <laughs> Nothing happened. Oh, Go into a better sorry. place. Oh, God. oh my goodness. To be fair, Matthew, it was pissing me off. I thought so. I thought you did so. me a favour. <laughs> Kevin, Jenna, Matt, thank you. It's been such a pleasure having you on. Thank you. <laughs> In fact, Thank you to Pamela Anderson, Matthew, Kevin, Jennifer Bay, and of course Russell Brand. On next week's show, I'll be.